Hey guys, welcome back to another weekly vlog. Today it's actually quite late in the week. It's Friday the 29th of March. The weather is definitely starting to get a little bit more autumnal. Although, honestly in Melbourne, it's usually like the second week of April. There's just a cold snap and suddenly it's freezing. Because today it's going to get to like 27 degrees. So it's always a bit confusing time, I think, autumn in Melbourne. But I am wanting to sort of switch over my wardrobe. Put a few of the like ultra summery pieces away. Include some more like cool weather items back in. And I want to do a bit of a declutter as well because it's definitely a lot of clothing in my cupboard that I just don't actually really love. I haven't done a proper KonMari does this bring me joy clear out in a long time and I feel like I really need to do that. This video is actually also a collab with my lovely friend Rachel from Rachel Lee A. If you love my content especially my vlog content I think you'll love Rachel's channel. Hers is like kind of life organization. We've actually been friends for about four years. We met through the platform and we just really connected and she's just one of my best friends and even though we've been friends for so long even though we create videos all the time we just hardly ever actually collaborate I think we did one video like on my channel where we filmed a makeup tutorial together and then we often feature in each other's vlogs but we haven't actually properly done like a let's do a similar kind of themed video on each other's channels and just thought it was about time I'll have a link to Rachel's channel in the description below as well as a link to her video she's gonna do a similar kind of like wardrobe spruce up sort of video as well our wardrobe is actually in between the bedroom here and the bathroom so it's like a walk through kind of wardrobe situation where it's on the side obviously not many of Alex's clothes are here because he's in Perth for five months so a lot of it is mine but I've definitely overtaken areas that were his and that needs to change in here I keep like bikinis and bras this has more like underwear socks hosiery and this has some like gym gear and loungewear and the bottom one is pajamas then I keep all my hanging stuff up on this rack here and I as I say have overtaken a little bit into Alex's space I also have have these shelves here which you can see are looking tragic <laughs> absolutely tragic I even have makeup storage back there with a bunch of excessive makeup it's gotten totally out of control this drawer has the rest of Alex's clothes he keeps like his underwear and his t-shirts and stuff and then that drawer I keep extra spare clothes of my own kind of things that are out of season they're quite large drawers they fit a lot and then of course I have my performance gowns over here so if you don't know I'm a classical violinist so I quite often have to do concerts and this is my stash of gowns and then this bag is our dirty laundry hamper I'm gonna move everything from in there as well as the stuff that I've got in extra storage under here all on top of the bed Guys, that's so much more clothing than I thought I had. I didn't actually expect the pile to be that big, considering I don't actually think I have the biggest wardrobe ever. But it's just way too much. It's just too much for me. So I want to cut this down. Does this bring me joy? Absolutely. So I think what I'll do is I'll just go through and do this process on my own. Otherwise, this video will literally be an eternity. I think I thought I was being more ruthless than I was. I was like, I'm throwing everything away, but actually it's okay. I think I've decluttered about maybe between a quarter to a third of things out of my wardrobe. This is the pile of stuff that for now I'm keeping and that's the stuff that I'm getting rid of. So now what I'm doing is going through my sections, like the different categories of my clothing. I'm starting with camisoles, deciding which ones can go back into my autumn slash early winter capsule wardrobe and which things are better off suited going into storage. Camisoles are obviously quite a summery piece of clothing. I do often though wear them in autumn and winter like underneath sweaters and things so they are still absolutely necessary in my wardrobe. I probably just don't need seven because that's how many I have. <laughs> the next category I'm going to tackle are pants and jeans. So I've got three pairs of jeans and four pairs of pants. So these jeans that I'm wearing here, they're like my boyfriendy casual jeans. I'm definitely going to keep these in for autumn. I'm also going to put these in a nice pair of skinny jeans and like a mid wash with a sweater and some boots is definitely my jam for autumn. So they are going in my capsule as well as my black skinny jeans, which I actually did wear a bit over the summer. On a cooler day, I would wear these and they've got kind of a soft sheen to them. I really, really like the finish of these. I don't know if you can see, like they're starting to wear out around the tabs and stuff. So these are like definitely in need of replacing. I'm wearing them anyway because it's the only pair of black skinnies that I have. But if I can replace those this season, I'd be quite keen to. But I don't want to get rid of this pair yet until I find a replacement because I couldn't be without a pair of black jeans at all. I'm going to put these in. I actually did have these in my summer capsule but only wore them like once or twice just because they're not really something that actually... 
I typically reach for in the summer months. These are definitely like an autumn and spring pair of pants. But these are some like paper bag waist style kind of linen look pants and they're like a really nice wide leg. I absolutely love these but they're definitely a more summery piece. I typically wear them with like a little crop top or something. So I'm going to put those into storage. Next is dresses. This lovely gorgeous dress that I got from Chic this year. I wore this on Christmas day and also my birthday. It's a bit more of a special occasion dress and obviously by the pattern it is very like springy summery even though I could wear it now in autumn with like some cute little cowboy boots and a cardigan or something I feel like I want to keep it a bit more special for spring summer this is a very sort of like whimsical kind of beachy holiday-ish dress it's like a maxi dress absolutely beautiful but it's just I find maxi dresses are very very summery so I'm gonna put that away this little green pinafore dress is new to me this is from Shopo it's quite tight I must say <laughs> and quite short but I think it'll look really cute in winter like with like a turtleneck or something underneath it that's actually one of the things I definitely want to pick up tomorrow is a black turtleneck like of a thin merino fabric or something because then some of my more like springy summery items like my camisoles and my little dresses I can kind of transform for winter and this was one of the things I think this with like a pair of tights and a black turtleneck underneath would look super cute what else can stay oh yeah this I actually tucked this away over the summer so I could pull it out for autumn and be really excited by it and I'm so pleased I did this dress I got from Forever 21 in the States in 2016 when I was there visiting. I was in New York and I went to like the Times Square like really big Forever 21 store um, and this was one of the things I purchased and it's honestly like one of the best pieces of clothing items I've ever bought in my life. If I wear it in a video people often think it's a blouse and you're always asking about it. Um, it is a little like floaty swing dress. The colours of it are perfect for autumn. It's like a navy with these gorgeous brown sort of flowers. I also think I'll keep this little guy in as a summery option because this is my new little like party dress from Shopo. This I think could look cute with tights and again I could even wear like a turtleneck underneath it to make it a bit more autumnal. This little dress, oh my gosh I have such a history with this dress. I got this little pinafore 10 years ago guys, 10 years ago. When I was a student, a first year freshman, I got it for $28 on Trade Me, which is like an online secondhand sort of like an eBay kind of thing for New Zealand. This would have been worth like $300 in store because Q's quite like a fancy store. And I've had it for 10 years and I wear it every single winter. And this is like a beautiful Italian wool fabric. It's held up so well. Lol. Guys, look, this is my like t-shirts and like sweaters and cardigans pile. <laughs> I love grey and white and cream. Hello, editing Anna here. It is late on Sunday night I'm editing this and I'm gonna skip over a lot of this decluttering part because it's kind of boring. <laughs> Let me know if you want to see like a full proper like what exactly is in my capsule wardrobe video because what I could do is do like filming of every piece and like make it kind of snappy but of my whole thing because oh my gosh I ramble and talk so much. <laughs> The setup wasn't quite right to show you guys the pieces properly anyway. I'd rather actually like put them on and film it properly. It'll take a long time, but yeah. Video fail? Let me know in the comments if you want to see that. Or I can just continue to like show you my outfits in each of my weekly vlogs going ahead. And you'll see a lot of the items anyway, but more than happy to do a dedicated capsule wardrobe video if you want as well. <laughs> There we go, so that is everything put back in. It fits really well in that space. I've tried to hang up as much as I can, but I have folded my sweaters just because they tend to get a little bit um, damaged if they're hanging. Got my like scarves and stuff up there. I really want to figure out a DIY or something to do in there, like some sort of temporary use of that space, like storagey system, because it is kind of like useless and I don't have an extra shelf. Like that's how many shelves came with the apartment. And then I've put all of my stuff into this big drawer, which will go under the bed that has all my seasonal items. I've packed up all the things I want to donate into this big duffel bag which has wheels and a little handle so I can wheel it along to my local charity shop. And then those two things over there my friend has said she wants. So <laughs> that's good, they found a home. Now I actually need to go and buy a dessert because I'm going to my friend Sarah's house tonight for dinner and I've got to bring dessert. And she's the one that's taking those clothes from me which is very convenient. 
So once I've gone and gotten that, I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna, oh, what's happening to my voice? And I'm gonna sit there and do a little bit of research online on the few items that I know that I'm still missing from my wardrobe. Like having done that process, it was so good because if I had just gone shopping, I definitely know I would have bought things that I actually already have. I probably would have bought another scarf. I know I probably would have come home with more gray sweaters and I do not need gray sweaters. I've got plenty. So it was really good for me to actually do that process. I actually think I'm gonna buy a lot less tomorrow, but there are still some things like my black turtleneck that I really want to get. I've actually been saving a few things to my shop tagger over the last few weeks of things that I really liked. So these two tops from Forever New, I'm quite interested in getting for performance clothes. I really need something that's a little bit like semi-formal for like daytime concerts and stuff. So I might check those out. This is the turtleneck polo that I'm quite interested in getting. It's actually merino. So even though it's like $80, it's a good quality wool. I love this skirt too, but I probably won't get that. That's just, I liked it. This is not sponsored by ShopTagger, by the way. I've done quite a few sponsors with them, but I genuinely use the app. So by adding stuff to my ShopTagger, I've got it all with me on my phone. Oh my gosh. I've been waiting for these to come in for so long. We've had a bit of a cool change come through. So I got to change my outfit. So I put on my little black skirt. I actually do really love this. It's just a bit of a pain in the bum to maintain, get rid of the little bobbly bits, but it's such a nice little like fitting skirt. Hopefully you can see. And I've just popped on some tights and my favorite little winter boots. These are a couple seasons old from Merchant. They sort of remind me of like boxers boots, like a boxer would wear. <laughs> Kept that same tank top on and then I've just popped on my gray cardi. I need a scarf too, it's actually quite chilly. Snug as a bug in a rug. I love this outfit, that's so cool. Oh, it's so exciting being in a new season. Good morning guys, it's Saturday the 30th of March. It's so cold today, it's like 13 degrees, I'm freezing. I'm actually kind of excited that it's cold because it's like perfect. I'm shopping for like autumn-y, winter-y stuff today anyway. This is what I'm wearing today. Oh, it feels so good to be in my woolies. I always love the cold weather when it first starts and then I'm like, I'm over it <laughs> by like June. My boots are from Merchant. I got these boots a couple of years ago though, but I love them because they're like slightly higher up the leg for an ankle boot. Uh, I really like my jeans tucked in. Black, just jeans, skinny jeans. You can see they've got that kind of soft sheen on them. I'm wearing my seed blouse, which I really love. It's like a swing style blouse. And then my Yes Style fur jacket, my shirling jacket. Also got on these little earrings from La Vista, which are like little tassel earrings. I think they look really nice. That's what the blouse looks like without my jacket. It does need an iron because it's been folded up in my drawer. Such a cute outfit. Makes me really, really, really want to find another blouse today if I can because I just love this one, but we'll see. Hey, so I'm here at Melbourne Central with Rachie. We're going to go and do our shopping and then have some food eventually. Yeah. Although first thing I need a coffee. Alright, let's get a coffee. I don't have one. Okay. So look, my eyes are like real tired. Um, I was at dinner yes. with my friend's house last night till after one. Oh, okay. <laughs> you had a really late night. I had a late night. I didn't even drink, but I was just like, we were having such a good time playing games and hanging out. Oh, I was just nice. like, no, yeah. I had two glasses of wine at dinner with my mom and I was in bed by 10.30. Trying out a turtleneck. I don't know if I'd necessarily wear it on its own. Maybe like on its own, but tucked into like a little high-waisted skirt or something. Is that a little belt something Ooh, around? Yeah. Belts are my favorite right now. If you put yeah. a belt on, it makes it look like you together. Makes it look so much better, yeah. With like a little dress or a light top underneath. <gasps> it's so warm. So we're in Kukai, by the way. Hello. One of our favorite stores. No? We don't have a 36. Oh, the size in between. But show them anyway, because it's really nice. We're loving this emerald color. Yes. A little bit tight when you move your arms forward, yeah, so eh? Yeah. Sex, they don't have oh. There's another Kukai in Emporium. We'll go oh, check there. Check yeah. Out. Skirt over pants. Over everything. <laughs> it's really cool though. Such a cool skirt. It's stunning. Do you reckon you could wear it like during the day as well? Yes, yeah, so that's what I'm saying. With a knit or a t-shirt, something and casual. Heels to and dress boots, up at and then time. yeah, you could totally wear it at night too. I, I can wear it with these shoes. I love these shoes. Yeah, yeah. just yeah. without the pants sticking out the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> Roll them up. Yeah, see that's cute. This is my green top. I actually really like it. I, I was saying to Rach last time I had 
v-neck from here that I just didn't really get on with as well I think because my boobs were too out just felt inappropriate I don't know this one I kind of like I like it though mm, the color is cool yeah so this is uh, a little blouse I'm trying to it's really nice because it's a little bit of a cropped length it is it's really pretty yeah. I like it and then I've got my balloony sleeves this is hilarious hi <laughs> hi I tried on my skirt without pants on this time and shoes I put shoes on to like try it out. Looks good. Really cute. Yeah, really nice. Those are so cool. The palm trees. Yeah, the little monstera leaves. I love those. They're like little coins. Rach, that awesome. I love the color. Yes. <laughs> They're so nice. Currently in Glassons and I convinced Rach she definitely needed to try a slim fit pant and I was right. <laughs> Too. Yeah, she's trying on my boot. <laughs> yeah. It helps with like the whole size. So. Ordered some burgers. Yes. Gonna be yummy. We've been so successful today. So successful. Really good. I got lots of things already and some boots I'm gonna pack up later. I'm just waiting on a voucher. Yeah. I'm so happy with it. So many things and I'm so excited. Such an American meal like burger, fries and a milkshake. I never get a milkshake with burgers. Chips and gum. Yeah, good. I like it. Yum yum yum. I'm just trying on this black top for performing. It's just a really nice little sheer kind of casual top I can wear with high-waisted black pants for like more semi-formal lunchtime concerts and stuff. <gasps> they look good. They actually look really good. Yeah. I don't know how I tried these last time, but I think they look really average on the rack. Yeah, but they look really good. Like them, yeah, you? I do. They're kind of similar to those Glassons ones, but no, do you need small size? Like I, I would try it. If, if they have it. Alright, I might go ask the lady so yeah. she's got it. So I just got home with my shopping. So I'm gonna open everything up and show you guys what I got. So I picked up a couple of pairs of stockings because I have lots of opaques but I don't have very many shares that aren't ruined. <laughs> so they're actually 30 denier stockings so they're not quite as sheer as some of the normal sort of 15 denier. And then I also got these really pretty ones with spots. I usually end up replacing my hosiery every year anyway, but most of my opaques are fine. Um, I did pick up the little spotty tee from Forever New. It's covered in my fluff from my jacket. I also got the Kukai Merino turtleneck. I got the blouse, which just looks nothing like it did when it was on. And I also got this green tank top. I also had this bag arrive. This is something I ordered online the other day. It's actually for my travels in the middle of the year. I wanted a bag that could fit my laptop in it. I don't actually own a backpack, so it was really necessary. It's by the brand Nordis. They were advertising on Instagram and they've got lots of different little features. There's like an actual padded like laptop part at the back and there's this really handy little strap that you can stick over your suitcase handle. So I loved that sort of feature. It's also really lightweight. I just love the way this has such a nice sort of color coordination now. It's like neutrals with these little pops of green. So I've got my sweaters and stuff, scarves and accessories, jackets, long t-shirts, shorter t-shirts, blouses, camisoles, dresses, jeans and pants and a skirt. My long dress and long jumpsuit and then down the end I've got my casual concert wear. I didn't manage to find a little like half slip or like a petticoat but I'm gonna have a look online for that because I feel like that's something easy that I can buy online. I also am going to be buying those little cowboy boots. I went and tried them. I'm waiting for a gift card to arrive and it hasn't arrived so I wasn't able to actually get them today but I tried them on make sure I like the size and everything and the style and they're really cool so they'll be going into my wardrobe very soon as well. And I did try on a few pairs of jeans to replace my black jeans that I'm currently wearing. I couldn't find anything that I loved. I wanted them to be high-waisted. I quite like the shiny fabric. They can't be too long on the leg, although that would be where I'd compromise because I can always get them taken up. Jeans are a real struggle for me, so when I find a pair I love, I will buy them, but I might have to keep trying for a little bit longer. But yeah, I think I'm going to wrap up this video. Don't forget as well to check out Rachel's channel and Rachel's video. I'll have it linked below for you. And until my next video, I hope you guys have a wonderful couple of days, and I'll see you then. Bye!